COVID, I think, has taught us, first of all, that collective human behavior can actually matter. Because it's the only thing that's been protecting us from the COVID before we got the vaccines. And we have inequitable um, access to vaccines, as, we, as we've said. So collective behavior is going to be necessary going forward. We must change very dramatically our consumption, our production, and the developed world must lead on changing behavior. Secondly, government matters. Uh, you talked about the trust, but actually it's very visible, um, the governments that coped well and the governments that coped badly. And in that point, women-led governments, Jacinda Ardern is the poster child, but women-led governments actually did do better overall. You know, um, Angela Merkel in Germany, they took it seriously, they listened to the science, etc. And that's the third point, um, the importance of science. Um, uh, every government has listened to its health experts, and if it hasn't, then um, they've had terrible deaths and excessive um, health problems. Um, in going forward, we must listen to climate scientists as we've listened to health experts. And the last point, but it's an important one, and it touches on Aurora, I think, compassion matters. What has been remarkable is the compassion in countries, the compassion of food parcels, the compassion of caring, the compassion of being aware of it being much harder on somebody else. Um, the empathy that comes from that. And there has been a shortage of solidarity and empathy in our world. And it came out with COVID very strongly. It didn't come out enough on equitable access to vaccines, but internally in countries, in every country, it has been notable. And I think that's positive.